Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, please excuse the mess as usual. So, as you can tell, we are in a different spot of the shop. We got the lathe over there, and that's where I usually am hanging out doing my videos. This is the woodworking bench here. And a good friend of mine gave this to me. Uh, he made it. It's a uh, the old Norm Abram woodworking bench design. Fantastic. If you Google it, look it up. This is it. There's even some pictures of some that people have made, and I have mine modified to have um, uh, my table saw at the end so I can use it as an outfeed table. Okay, so... You remember this? Some of you may remember, I talked about this in a previous video that we had some different stuff coming up that was not on the lathe, and I showed this. Here is some beautiful cedar wood that I just milled up from a log. Has nothing to do with anything in this video today. Just wanted to show it to you. This, on the other hand, does have to do with this video. This is Paduke. Very pretty. So, so sorry, I don't have a better... Oh, there it is. Look at that shimmer shine. It's orange, in case you can't tell. Pretty much orange, anyway. Beautiful American black walnut. Okay. And a little exotic purple heart. Got these pretty well... Um, uh, trued up. I, I joined them. I ripped them on the table saw down to the appropriate sizes. I didn't show any of that. I'm not very good at doing those things. It's new to me. My neighbor helped me. I did it at his shop. And um, th I can tell you one thing. Purple Heart is like cutting metal. I mean, this stuff is hard uh, and really heavy. So what we got going on though with all this wood is a stand. It's a samurai sword stand. And I have a picture of what it's going to look like. This is my sketchbook of every project I make. I like to have a sketch of it. It's pretty cool. Made it for the wife. All right, and here it is of the samurai sword stand. You can see the snake, the base, there's the sword up there, all right? And then I found out that he had two swords. One was the smaller one, one's the longer one. Comment below if you know the names of each. I, I don't remember. Uh, this is the latest rendition. You can see there's uh, spots on the left and right for each sword. It's racing stripe off to the side. You can see the snake down the middle. There's two dugout sections here for the... Uh, either sword just to rest in that'll be like the smooth spoon carving if you didn't see the spoon carving video go check that out all right so that's what we're aiming for that's what we're working towards um if you're upset i didn't show you the milling process uh, i'm sure there's something on youtube that'll teach you all about milling and by people far better than me and it'll probably be safer than uh what i did uh although i think i was pretty safe okay so here we are at the workbench and i've got these pieces here now you can't probably see from the picture but I do have uh, witness marks on here so this one goes this way and da -da -da -da. here and I'm just gonna lay these out where you can see them this isn't necessarily the direction of the marks um, and I think actually I decided I wanted to do the direction a little differently after I put the marks so I might have to redo the witness marks but nonetheless um, Feel free to correct me if I'm using wrong terminology. Uh, we got the racing stripe here. There it is. So now where we're at is I need to glue this up. And then once it's glued up, you can see probably there's some differences in the height here. I opted to take that off in the final milling process to make sure they're all even. Uh, additionally, I left the purple heart kind of long. And that's going to help with snipe in the uh, thickness planer. We'll get it all glued up. Run it through the thickness planer. I'll show a little bit of the glue up process, maybe. Um, and once it's glued up, I'll run it through the planer. You will probably not see that because that'll be my neighbor's shop and I don't record over there. And uh, yeah, once we get that done, it'll be a matter of laying out our lines for the cutout of the shape. It's almost like a badge or a shield shape. And uh, that, that could be subject to change, but the idea is for it to be narrow in the back 
where the uh, snake goes in back here and then it'll flare out to the front where the spoons are carved out to uh, cradle the tip of the uh, sheath for the swords. So that's basically where we're at right now. And um, I, I may take a detour at some point. I really am, uh, I wanna get a hold of a, a nice sheet of probably white uh, melamine type uh, dry erase board, sort of four by eight sheet so that I can make up uh, a better background for when you guys are, are watching the videos. And um, hopefully I can turn it into a bit of a sticker wall. So um, I do have some stickers coming. I have the design finalized. Uh, shout out to a good friend of mine, Johnny O. Uh, he did an awesome job. He took my uh, maker's mark and surrounded it with uh, an awesome, you know, just simple little border, but it's gonna make a cool sticker. I'm pretty excited about it. And um, unfortunately, until I get up to 1,000 subscribers, I can't customize my URL. So I just put it as youtube.com and my name across the top with the, uh, the symbol. And we'll, we'll be showing you. Actually, you can see it in the, um, in the emblem in the, on the webpage. You can see my, my emblem. So check that out. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'm going to go ahead and start this glue up. And this will be part one. And I think it's going to be awesome. So let's get cracking. Tight bond three. No particular reason other than that's what I got. Okay, well, that was a mess, and it still kind of is. Uh, I did a dry run. Dry run, run went, you know, uh, okay. Uh, I do have some issues with some unevenness on the bottom, uh, but it's, it's I, I think it's square enough, true enough from the planed edges that I created to um, run it through the, the thickness planer. When it's okay, uh, so it's been a few days, new hoodie, and... Uh, I got this thing out of clamps, and here it is. Like I said I was gonna do, I went ahead and ran it through the thickness planer, so it's all nice and pretty. Uh, you can see that the orange came out really good, and uh, I do uh, I did end up with some snipe issues, but I'm hoping that they'll sand out okay. The tail idea did not work as well as I'd hoped. Um, I do have a drawing on there. There it is. So it kind of swoops in and rounds around. So it's a little bit different than the original design, but I think it's gonna look better, we'll see. I'm playing with some ideas about making this thicker, maybe having like two of these boards and gluing them together, but only only the outside edges that I really need because I don't want to waste any wood that I don't want to waste. So we'll see, not really sure yet. Next video is gonna be uh, working on the snake part, actually more specifically the tenon that is gonna go into the mortise that I still have to do here, waiting to get some measurements on the swords before I decide how far forward or backward I'm gonna put the mortise for the tenon. So next week I'll go ahead and get that posted, uh, the video for the tenon, and hopefully the following video after that is gonna be the uh, snake details. I'll sand that up probably off camera and then we'll start punching some scales, burning some scales, doing some staining and some sanding, some fun stuff to really make it look like a, a rattlesnake. So. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Sorry, it's going to be a big multi-part thing. I'll try to slide in some fun videos in the in-between so it's not just part one, part two, part three, etc. And uh, yeah, um, thank you, and I'll see you next week.